Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel it for you Today we are going to discuss how to create a bootable USB for Windows 10. For this we first need to go to the Chrome and download Rufus for Windows. You can easily download it from File Hippo website. As I am already downloaded it so I will move towards the next step. The next step is, you need to download a Windows 10 64-bit ISO file. I am gonna show you here. As you can see I have already opened the official website of Microsoft to download Windows 10 ISO file. Now, look for the updated version Windows. Yeah. Here we can see the version of Windows 10 is 22H2. You can simply search on Google search bar, and the first link will be appearing will be the link of Microsoft official website. That is updated version of Windows. Now look for the download button, and download your Windows 10 ISO file. As I have already downloaded it so I am not gonna download it again. So now, you first need to run setup file of Rufus to install it. It is quite simple. As I have already installed Rufus. So now, we will move towards our next step. So here you can see the interface of Rufus. Where the device will be your location where you need to create bootable windows. And it must be an external drive, flash drive or USB drive. Now, second option is boot selection. In the boot selection option, you need to provide the drive location where the Windows ISO file is saved. So here you can see, Rufus already recognized my USB drive, which is already showing here. Here you can also see the size of my USB drive is 8 gigabytes. And we can also confirm it from Windows Explorer. As you can see in the properties of USB drive. It is 8 gigabytes USB. So, we are now confirmed that it selects my USB drive. Now it's turn to locate the ISO file in Rufus. Click on select button. Now look for your Windows 10 ISO file. Select the file and click open button. Now, in the file system section I am gonna select NTFS because NTFS allow us to copy large file bigger than 5 GB. You can also select FAT32. There is no harm in it. Now you need to change the partition scheme from GPT to MBR. I will be explain why we are selecting the MBR partition scheme. Now let's check what's the target system says. So it's showing the only option BIOS or UEFICSM. So now we will proceed to start the process. Click start button to proceed. Here you can see it's showing a dialog box of Windows user experience. Here we are not going to check any checkbox. Just click OK. Now it's showing some warnings. I am going to click OK again. And finally it started to create bootable USB. Now I am gonna tell you why we have selected the partition scheme to MBR. In Windows, there are two types of partition schemes, MBR and GPT. MBR and GPT determine the format of the disk. After partitioning, we can call it MBR disk or GPT disk. Originally, there was only MBR, but with the development of the information age, MBR has more and more shortcomings, so GPT was introduced to adapt to these changes. The two different styles of disks have different schemes to manage the partitions on the disks. Therefore, it is called a partition scheme. The master boot record, MBR, also known as the master boot sector, is the first sector that must be read when the computer is turned on to access the hard disk. Simply understand that if you install Windows, 
then the initial information of the Windows boot loader is placed in this sector. When the computer is turned on, the initial information in the sector will be read first, and then Windows will start normally. So, now here you can see that Rufus has created the USB Windows bootable. You can also check by opening the USB drive. Here you can see the bootable files of Windows. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. For more related videos comment us on comment box. And must subscribe the channel. Have a nice day.